What's up guys, it's Chris, you're watching Plumbing Explained, and this is Unclogged, episode 13. So in this episode, I was called out to a clogged main line, and uh, thankfully and luckily, the customer had a clean out right here. Uh, this is like the last bathroom in the house before you get to the front yard, and the main lines run out through the front yard into the middle of the street in this neighborhood, so... This was the closest access I had to the main sewer. So I've already unclogged this line with my Redneck 75. Uh, that's the machine that I use that carries a half inch Spartan cable, intercore cable, which are like the best cables you can get on the market other than their uh, bigger cables for their bigger machines. But the Spartan 100, the half inch, I've cleared many, many main lines with that cable. And uh, yeah, so we cleared this one here. We pulled back some roots and now we're gonna go ahead and clean the line. I'm doing a camera inspection here to show the customer exactly uh, where the roots are and how bad it is. And check this out, when we get in there with the, um, the camera and the flex shaft, just watch how bad this line is. So we've got our K9204. Uh, made by rigid here. This is a 3 8 flex shaft meaning the uh, cable inside of that sheath there is 3 8 and uh, I'm also using my little Chinese Vivor mini cam uh, This camera works great for anything like inch and a half two inch I wouldn't really put it an inch and a half because you'd have you have to take the skid off But uh, two inch pipe and up this thing works great as you're gonna see here. Look at the uh, video on that and the Vivor model I got came with the DVR. So, I mean, really awesome little camera for a real cheap, little quick disposable camera to get you through until you can afford a nicer camera. But check that out. Look at that, guys. You saw that little root intrusion there. That Here it goes. There's the big time root intrusion. This is right where it transitions from ABS to uh, clay. Here in Lake Forest, they have a lot of clay mains. And uh, you can see right where it transitioned, there's a big offset and likely a separation or crack in the pipe there where these roots and mud and everything are getting through. So this is one thing I really love about the uh, flex shafts is you're able to use your camera while flex shafting. You don't have to worry about damaging the camera. You just pull it back, you know, a few inches so that you can still see the flex shaft, the tip, the knocker there. That's what those chains are called. They're called knockers. So you want to make sure that uh, you can see that obviously. And um, the benefit of that is you get to see, you can see exactly what you're doing. And you can provide your customer a before, after, and during video if you've got a camera that records or even just recording your camera with your cell phone if you don't have a camera that has DVR. You can show your customer like how you cleaned their drain line or how you unclogged their drain line. Uh, these things are just awesome. They're the way of the future. Um, I've been plumbing forever and you know, these are just, anybody denying the flex shafts they just they they need to use them they need to get to understand them before they start knocking them i've seen a lot of different plumbers kind of hesitant to believe in the technology i'm telling you man these things are game changers without a doubt i very rarely use my cable machines anymore i really only use them if i'm not able to pop the drain with the flex shaft a lot of these flex shafts come with, uh, or they don't come with it, but you can buy knockers for these flex shafts that have a penetrating tip on them. Um, so you can actually unclog drains too. You don't, they're not just meant for just exclusively cleaning the drain line. You can actually unclog drains too. But the problem is, is they're powered by a uh, drill with a clutch and everything. And the cable isn't as rigid as like, you know, say your Spartan inner core a uh, half inch cable so if you come up against a pretty sturdy clog you're probably not going to get through it with like a 3 8 flex shaft like i'm using here with a bigger half inch flex shaft like the picote or some of the other uh ones you can get that are made similar to the picote um you could definitely get through if you have a penetrating head on some of those but you also need something more like a grinder i, I wouldn't really recommend you know i i mean i guess you could do it a uh, half inch with a, a normal drill but to be honest, if you're using a half inch flex shaft, you're probably gonna want an electric drill or a grinder, something like that, something with higher RPM. But no matter what you get when you're using a flex shaft, you wanna make sure that you have a clutch either built into the drill or you buy like an aftermarket clutch that you 
attached to the drill because I've seen so many guys who snap their flex shafts and they they all want to blame the flex shaft and this and that, but it's really clearly user error. I mean, I bought this really basic, uh, it's not even a fuel 18 volt Milwaukee. I figured my little 12 volt fuels probably weren't, weren't going to do it, do it for this situation. I'd probably be changing batteries constantly. So I bought this 18 volt, just basic brushless Milwaukee drill. It's not even a hammer drill. And the clutch is so sensitive on this thing. I mean, it binds up, it clutches out before this cable ever really gets itself in any serious trouble. I haven't really, I had one uh, scare with it when I first bought it. And it was because um, I bought my my 204 used and it was missing a piece inside so the cable had flipped over on the inside and almost snapped itself just like the previous owner snapped it um, so yeah I mean it's but the cables are really easy to replace on these I honestly I think I replaced it in like 30 minutes something like that I did a video on it that I'm gonna uh, upload at some point but uh, the, it's really easy to replace the cables on these uh, 204s and uh, also the 102 they're basically the same exact machine um just the 204 has a 3 8 cable and the 102 has a quarter inch cable that's the only difference as far as like the drum and everything they're the same i've owned both of them i had them both like in my possession and and you know checked them out and everything the 204 i think is a a great machine uh i love it i mean like i said i use it for everything it, it unclogs more drains than any of my other machines do anymore i rarely take out the model 81 which is my other like go-to snake for residential um the little spartan model 81 is like a, an amazing machine if you're looking for a residential cable machine the model 81 with like a quarter inch drum and a 5 16th drum like i run it is the best machine you can buy and then couple and then you team that up with like one of these flex shafts and you've got like an amazing little lineup there of drain tools. And that's really what it's all about. Uh, you wanna make sure that you have the right tools for the job. So I've always throughout my whole career, mostly just cable drains. I didn't even really use a camera until I got back into it after beating cancer. I like, I don't know what, what got into me. I just wanted to do everything top notch. And uh, so I bought the camera it's not the greatest camera, like I said, but it is a camera that'll get me by until I can buy the, a real nice camera. And uh, I had been looking into the flex shafts for a while, so I bought the flex shaft and, and teamed up with cable machines. There's no drains that you can't unclog uh, with a flex shaft cable machine combo. Uh, you know, if you're, if you're having trouble, maybe you're poking a hole in some grease or something like that, and it keeps clogging back up on you, you get that hole open, then you shoot the flex shaft down, and you really open that hole up. I mean, the flex shaft is able to do a lot of things that a cable machine can't do, or, or it'll take a cable machine a really long time to do. The flex shaft can get things done much quicker. And so there's really a lot of benefit to having the flex shaft. But again, I think that you're still gonna wanna have a nice cable machine on deck to help you out like, th like I needed for this job. Uh, that cable machine helped me get this drain clear so then I could run my camera down there I could see exactly what I was getting at and uh, I was able to flush the toilet while I was uh, You know cleaning this drain line. So yeah, I mean there's really a lot that goes into drain cleaning that people don't really think about don't really understand and I feel like if you're here watching a video of flex shaft review then you're at least interested in this type of equipment and you see the benefit to it. And one thing that I kind of worried about at first when I was researching these machines was I was wondering if it was going to be okay on clay pipe because, you know, it's a bunch of chains knocking around in a pipe. I thought, wow, maybe that's going to break clay. But no, it's actually designed for clay and, and cast iron and stuff like that. And it's really, it, you're going to see it by the end of this video how clean this pipe actually is. It looks like it's brand new. It's crazy. And you can just imagine how many times I would have had to pull my cable out, throw the camera in, you know, pull the camera out, throw the cable back in just to see how much of the roots were left or how far I had made it. I mean, there's so much more that goes into it if you don't have a flex shaft and a camera combo. So I'm going to go ahead and push past that clog there and inspect the rest of the line just to make sure that we aren't dealing with uh, something 
more down downstream, something bigger, maybe a bigger break or something like that, that would have been uh, made what we're doing upstream completely worthless. And as you can see, there's pretty much an offset at every single fitting for this clay pipe. And that's because of the way that they uh, hub this clay pipe together. It's almost like these big bell-shaped fittings and one pipe just kind of sticks into the other one. And then they would pack it with um, a sealer. It was just, you know, it was really kind of crazy how they did it. But uh, it it lasted a long time. And most of these lines lasted pretty well up and until the... Um, big drought we had here in california that caused the tree roots to kind of really search for water which was causing them to break the main lines and things like that um but yeah another thing i wanted to mention was the knocker i'm using in this video was the only four inch knocker that i had at the time and it didn't have uh any type of teeth on it or anything so it's just the three chain four inch knocker this knocker is mostly made for abs uh, it's not mostly made for uh, chopping up roots like a lot of the other knockers I have now are that have teeth on them. So had I had a knocker with some teeth on it, this job probably would have only taken me, you know, half the time. So just keep that in mind. With the proper knockers, I would have chopped this, uh, this root intrusion up even quicker and been out of this call uh, that much quicker. So you saw how impacted this line was with roots and uh, you can just see this flex shaft doing work and this is all real time like I'm not speeding any of this up or anything like that. This is how long it took me to actually clean this drain out. Now even with a jetter, those of you guys saying oh I would have just jetted it this and that. Even with a jetter man you would have been here I feel like longer and I'm not super experienced with jetting but you would have been here longer than I was with your jetter. And I feel like uh, you would have had more liability possibility because if that line was clogged further down the line or something like that, the jetter would have pushed a bunch of dirty water back into the house. There's just a lot more possibility for things to go wrong with the jetter, in my opinion, than hitting it with this flex shaft and then washing it all out afterwards. So you can see we've given that root ball and uh, dirt ball there a serious haircut and now we're going to completely finish it off here and pulverize it with the uh, flex shaft. And again, this K9204 is an amazing flex shaft. It has become my favorite machine on my truck. I rarely pull any other machine off. And uh, I like my quarter inch. I have like a little 12 foot length of quarter inch uh, flex shaft and... Um, another like 20 foot length of half inch flex shaft and i love those also but the only problem is is they have oftentimes not been long enough for me i didn't have the half inch when i did this job or i would have did this one with the half inch um but yeah the little quarter inch is awesome you guys have seen me if you're watching the uh, unclog series if you're following the unclog series you guys have seen me unclog uh, bathtubs and uh lavatory sinks with the quarter inch and uh, you've also seen me unclog kitchen drains and other toilet drains with this 3 8 inch flex shaft. So my next goal is to get a Picot flex shaft. And I think I may even do like a GoFundMe or something like that and see if any of you guys would be interested in uh, pitching in to get get a Picot for the channel so I could review it and, um, you know, just have more videos of different varieties of equipment on here. Um, so I may be doing something like that in the future. We'll see. But, uh, definitely if you're interested in drain cleaning and you know, that's something you do, or you're interested in these flex shafts, the rigid ones are very affordable and they work very, very well. They take a little getting used to, and there is a little learning curve. Um, at first I was like super mixed about these. I, I didn't know if I liked them. I didn't know if I hated them. I felt like there were very few drains I could actually get them to work on, but the more I learned, the more I uh, used them, and the more I got used to them, the more I realized their benefit and what an amazing piece of technology they are. And I've become a big fan of Rigid. I never really liked Rigid in the past, to be honest with you, but I've become a big fan of Rigid. 
um, especially because of this flex shaft series here. And uh, there's a dude at Rigid named Jeff Albertini. He sent me a couple parts for this flex shaft that I needed and a knocker. And the dude was just awesome, man. And I guess he's like one of the lead guys on the flex shaft project over there. I just think that Rigid is just doing big things with the flex shaft. And I, and I really support them. I like that they stand behind their product. And, uh, you know, I just think that they're a great company. And I think these flex shafts, and especially the way Rigid is doing it, where they give you the option to just use a drill and stuff like that, I think that's really awesome. I think it's smart. I think it helps us, like the little guy, the little plumber, not the guys out there. You know, we don't have a ton of money to be spending, so uh, it, it's great to be able to have a really nice and affordable machine like this K9204 in your arsenal. And I promise you, once you get used to it, you will be so happy that you bought one. The flex shaft is the definitely the wave of the future. It's not the end all be all. You still need a cable machine on the truck. I don't know why a lot of guys don't say that in their videos, but you do need a cable machine on the truck. I highly recommend having like a um, Spartan Model 81 or a Spartan 100 on the truck to team up with the flex shaft that you have. But if you've got a flex shaft and a nice cable machine like the uh, Spartan 100 or the Spartan 300 or any of the other like mid-sized cable machines that you're comfortable with, couple that up with this nice flex shaft and I'm telling you, there's no drains you won't be able to conquer. But just like anything, it takes some learning and you do need the right equipment. The right knockers pay, play a big role in whether or not you're going to be able to unclog or clean certain lines. Um, there's a lot of really cool stuff too. Uh, I just ordered these uh, specific attachments that are going to allow me to shoot through a toilet without having to pull it and possibly clear toilet lines without having to always pull the toilet. Now there's still going to be times where I'm going to have to pull the toilet, obviously, but just think about that. Think about being able to clear toilet lines or main lines without having to pull the toilet every time. That would be really cool. And it'll allow me to save time, and time is money, as you know in plumbing. So guys, I really appreciate you watching. Uh, if you're interested in the flex shafts, definitely check out the Rigid uh, K series, the K9 series. They're, in my opinion, some of the best, most affordable flex shafts on the market. Um, I can actually get a hold of some bare flex shafts that aren't inside a drum. So if you're interested in some flex shafts like the ones I use in my other videos, leave a comment down below, and I can maybe link up with you and get you some prices. Um, other than that, make sure that you're subscribed, guys. I've got a lot of videos coming down the pipe. I've been shooting a lot of videos. I just need to edit, so we got a lot of stuff coming. Uh, make sure you're subscribed. You ring the bell so you stay up on all our notifications. You like the video. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. Let me know what you want to do with your flex shaft. If you're going to buy a flex shaft. If you don't like flex shafts. If you're only a cable guy or only a jetter guy. Let me know, guys. Let's talk about it, all right? Hope you guys all stay safe. Take care. I'll see you in the next one. Dre be in a pain. The brown won't go down. Time to deploy Uncle Elroy. He's got the longest snake around. Need to clear your pipes without any grass. Oh, Uncle Elroy's the guy for the job. He's getting shit done without being a slob. So give the man a like. And go and hit subscribe. You're gonna save you money, save you time. He'll teach you how to plumb. He won't charge a dime.